Hey everybody, it's good to see you all again. This segment is just to kind of let you guys know what is going on in this episode. So in this episode, there is a situation um, towards the end or anywhere in this episode, there is a blank. That means there's no sound coming in the episode. And you might think that is your fault. That is my fault. You can blame me, say it was my fault because that is editing problem and that's because of recording and the recording platform that I use. If that happens to be in the in the episode, if that's in it, um, what you need to do is to just disregard it. Don't worry about it. Consider it like an ad break. Consider it like a break. Consider it like we're taking a five minute break. Consider it like that. So no freaking out. No need to worry. Make sure you guys enjoy the episode. Enjoy what's in it. And y'all have a good one. And enjoy this one. Really enjoy it and have fun. And please disregard the blanks in there because other than breaks. Hope you guys enjoy this episode. And thank you guys for understanding and for your cooperation. There we go. There we go. I, I always forget to do that. Hi, guys. I've been cranking these out, so I'm so excited. And I um, also just wanted to give a little heads up. This guest we have tonight, he's also going to be in the Devil's Night concert. So if you guys ever get a chance to tune into it and see it on YouTube, he's in it. Um, he goes by Jupiter Kami. Um, he's he's a dope artist. Um, he is known as a surprise. I didn't know him until a couple weeks ago. So it's not like I've known him for a long time. But he's pretty dope. I'm so excited to have you. Here with us. How you doing? I'm doing fine. Thank you for having me. Yeah, of course. This is so exciting. Um, I'm glad you can make it. Um, and again, I'm sorry for all the commotion and lateness with me. It's it's just nature. Yeah, that's fine. Cool, cool. Um, <laughs> well, in case the audience uh, doesn't get to know you until after the concert, um. Would you want to give a little, um, you want to give a little piece about yourself, real quick? Yeah. So basically, I'm a rapper, singer, songwriter, producer from Dallas, Texas. I'm 18 years old. Yeah, I'm from South Dallas. That's pretty much it. Mm. Awesome, awesome. Did you say Dallas, Texas? Yeah, Dallas, Texas. Oh my God, yes, dude. I. And four hours, three, four hours away from you. Oh, that's interesting. Oh, yeah. I'm in Houston, so I'm about four hours from you. That's actually pretty cool. Oh, yeah. Yeah, definitely. Maybe we can hang out or something like that. Maybe. Like a live podcast? Yeah, maybe. (laughs) Maybe. That's actually pretty interesting. Yeah, something like that. Yeah, that'd be interesting. That'd be my first. Oh, yeah, that's cool. Awesome. Glad to meet another text now. I'm, I'm going to get to meet a lot of them. But when I do, it's like, we were late so much. Yeah. That's cool, that's cool. All right, let's jump into everything before time gets away. Um. So... I heard you do a lot of things. You just told me right now. You do producing, you sing, you also rap. You do a lot of things in music. But I want to know overall, like, what got you interested in doing all those things and overall being a musician? So. I think the main thing was just me. Like, like everything that I see, I want to try it. That interests me. You know, I know how to animate, do graphics designing and all of that. So music was just one of those things that I saw, you know, and I was just like, hey, I want to try that. So it was really just from listening to X and Juice World. The kind of I, I wanted to make my own music. So that's just kind of how I started. Oh, uh, cool, cool, awesome, awesome. And did you was it natural for you to become a musician, or did you need someone or something to encourage you? Um, it was just me, honestly. I think I just I just had the idea to make a song one day, and I just kept going. You know. Ah. Uh. Wow, okay, so it was like almost a calling almost. Yeah, you could say that. 
Wow, okay, that's cool, that's cool. And wow, that's incredible how um, all it took was a little idea and now I got some air go. That's awesome. Yeah. That's really amazing. That's... And I, and I relate to that too. Um, it all started from, you know, inspiration. So I definitely get that a lot. But it's really cool how that song idea started everything for you. Is it released right now? Is it like part of your disc discography, or is it like a personal thing you have? Uh, oh, it's probably like a personal thing that I have. Mm -hmm. All right, I was asking. I thought I could just listen to it, but it's a personal thing. So. Yeah. Perfect. Perfect. Um. Now, speaking about the uh, concert, what inspired you to want to do the concert and show your talent a little more with that? Well, one thing that's really important, like especially when you're an artist, is kind of do networking. So, you know, I got really interested in the idea of being part of something because I've never really done that throughout the entire time I've been doing music. So, I don't know, it just seemed fun. And so I was just like, you know what, I might as well just try it. And yeah, it seems like it's working out. Ah, oh, nice, nice, nice. That is good. That's good. And just to refresh my memory, were you were you like a Facebook person or was it Instagram? Instagram. Ah, okay. Okay, and did I ask you or did you just see my Instagram and just ask me? Uh, I just asked in the server, like if someone did podcast or interview. And then they just edit you, and I think I think you edit me on, um, Discord, yeah. Ah, oh, okay, okay, yeah. I talk with a hundred people per day, so I'm always like, <sighs> you know, flustered. Oh, you know what's weird? Your profile pic matches your little submission. It match. It matches. Oh. Yeah. You're that guy with the white mask. I was wondering who is that, and th that was you. Oh, okay, that makes yeah. sense. I was like, it's like who is that in the white mask? And I saw your, and I saw the submission. I was like, oh, I see who it is. Like, it's like who is that? Um, cool, cool. Um, did you have an intention of performing at all prior to the concert, or did it? Was it just more, um, more um, oh, what? Oh, this is took as a more. Oh, sorry. Go ahead. Can you repeat this because you cut. I cut off. Yeah. Damn it. Okay. Um, remix. Um, basically, I'm asking: Did you have an intention of performing, or did you jump on the opportunity when it came up? Yeah, he keep cutting off. Oh my god. Okay, I'm gonna fix it. Um, I'm gonna fix that right now. Just gonna see if I can do this. All right. Hey, um, how about now? Yeah, it seems fine so far. Yeah. Okay, okay. Perfect. All right. And y'all, I apologize. But the show's natural. We all make mistakes. That's what's so important. And what's so special is that we all make mistakes. We all get back up. Yeah. Anyway, um, what I was asking you before I cut out and shit was that, um, was it your intention of performing before the concert, or did you just jump on the opportunity when mentioned? Uh, I just jumped on the opportunity because uh, the guy that uh, posted the thing, he's in one of my server, my music servers. So I just saw him post it, and I just got really interested in it. Mm. Was did it say Immortal Radio for the Discord user? Did it say Immortal Radio? Yeah. No, but like, oh, I have my own server, yeah. and, and one of the guys joined there join like the server and then he just posted that on my server and then like he asked me to join his server and that's kind of how i got in ah that makes more sense that's a mortal being they're the they're the creators and managers of the whole label they must have 
they must have did some like promo. They did massive promo in there, so that makes more sense. Yeah, that makes more sense. Are you signed to a label? Are you thinking about it? Uh, I'm not signed. I, I was thinking about it, but like you know, I'm 18. You know, still a lot, a lot of things for me to figure out. So you know, I'm not sure about signing yet. Ah, uh, okay, okay, gotcha, gotcha. What kind of things are you thinking about prior to signing? Like, what kind of things did you like want to kind of get through before you want to, you know, officially get signed? Well, just like the networking aspect of things, you know, like who who I talk to, who manages me, and all that. And you know what can they do to elevate my career? Oh, gotcha, gotcha. Did you ever ask them about it? Did you ever ask them those those questions? I kind of asked um, Immortal Being. I think that's who it is. And um, yeah, he kind of told me a little bit about it. And he he told me to send him one of my songs, and I did. He just he never responded. So. Ah, uh, that makes sense. Well. I hope you do, and even then, I just wanted to just personally tell you I know them, so I know that you, you'll, you will. I mean, I mean they're busy, so I get why they wouldn't respond, but you are, you will, um, because you're like insanely talented. So I know for a fact they're gonna sign you. I know, I know for sure. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah, of course, of course. I mean, I've known them for a little while, and they always pick. Really nice people to be part of their label, so I know for a fact that they're going to pick you. And if they don't pick you, I'll make sure. I will personally make sure because we're running the concert together. I will personally make sure. I will put a note. I'll put something um in Discord. Hey, you remember uh, Jupiter? Well, he um wants to be on the label. You know, uh, I'll drop a note or something. Yeah, I appreciate that. Yeah, of course. You know I got you. You know I got you. Yeah. But I just wanted to add those side things. Let's get into more. Um, let's get into more. Now, this is another part of the big three. Now, I just want to know your overall music creative process. I want to know everything you do in songwriting, production, mixing, mastering, distribution. I want to know everything about your music process. Don't leave anything out. All right, so I like to look for beats. That's kind of like the biggest thing because, you know, it takes a while for me to find something that I like, you know, and then I kind of just download it. And then I just see if I, I just like start kind of freestyling to it, you know, with some effects on, like the effects chain on my doll to see if like if it can work. And then if it, and if it does, I just start kind of writing. Um, it just depends on like the mood, you know, if I'm, if, if I'm mad, if I'm sad, you know, or if I'm feeling some sort of way, I could just write about it. And then uh, after the song is done, I just, I guess you could say, I don't really mix and master like that. You know, I kind of, I look for some tutorials and, you know, I've learned from that, but I don't think I'm good enough yet in that aspect. But yeah, once the song is done, I, I can mix it and master it. I use a uh, repost network to distribute my music. Mm. All right, sweet and simple. I like it. I like it. Yeah. And I like that you went down to, down to earth about it. You didn't just bamble off about it. It's like yeah. you went... You went down, like, you just told me the basics. That's what I like. Yeah, I mean, it's, there's nothing deep about it, you know. Just do what I like. Oh, yeah. Yeah, definitely, definitely. And, you know, speaking about Down to Earth, um, I've been curious to know, like, what's the meaning behind your name, your artist's name? Um, so, the Kami part was actually the, the thing that I came up with first. You know, I, I, always, I, I knew I always wanted to have... Uh, a Japanese letter, I mean, word after my name. So I, I, I was looking at a lot of words, you know, one of the big ones was Yami, which means, but no, it means dark. I'm, I'm tripping, my bad. Um, and yeah, now I, I don't know where I just thought about God and I kind of, and I put it in on Google Translate and I got Kami. So that's kind of where I got that from. Jupiter is actually from like a compilation album of uh, Slutty Sony who passed away like last year. Um, he was actually one of my, my favorite artists at the time. And I, um, uh, that's kind of where I got the Jupiter part from. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. And are you part, do you have anybody, like, from Japan, or are you just interested in Japanese? I'm just interested in Japanese. I mean, I guess it has to do because I like, I like anime, so that's kind of where that came from. Oh, 
Gotcha, gotcha. I thought you, I thought you were, I thought you had like relatives from Japan. So I, I thought you were. No, I'm actually Hispanic. So. Yeah. Oh, then your relatives must be from Mexico and those, and Spain yeah. and those. Oh. Mexico, yeah. Oh, okay, and that that makes more sense too. That makes more sense. I got you. Uh, yeah, I got it makes sense. That's perfect. I was just curious with the name, um, because your name rhymes with somebody in the concert as well, Nami. Um, so I just got a little confused over the two names. Uh, with the whole Kami thing, I actually thought I was being unique with it because at the time when I when I was uh think thinking about it and when when I put it in my name, I didn't know there was that it was actually kind of common. For people to have Kami in their name, like Sila Kami and other people. So I thought it was being unique until like people kept asking me if like if I was inspired by Sila Kami and I didn't know who that was. So that's kinda how I discovered Sila Kami. The people asking me if I was a fan of his. It's kinda sad it wasn't really unique. I thought I was being unique, so Ah, gotcha, gotcha. And you're still being unique. You just you just took inspiration from outside sources. It's not that's not really like Copying or anything, you just took inspiration and you're still being unique. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um and sorry for my flustered I've been so jammed with work. Um but I'm pressuring on anyway, here comes the last big three. How would you as a musician overall describe your music? Mm, that word. How how can I describe my music? Probably just very relaxing. Like, something that... Well, it depends, though, because I actually do a lot, a lot of different styles. So I would say either relaxing or angry, depending on which song you're listening to. You know, the relaxing side, you know, I want people to, you know, sit down, maybe just, you know, listen to it or while they're eating or something and just walking around. Um, and I guess you could say the angry side is probably when you feel anger or, you know, when you're working out or something, you know, that's kind of... It has the active... Mm. Oh, that's the kind of music that helps you get going in the day. Yeah. Ah. That makes that makes more sense. Um. And and that's great, dude. That is fantastic. If your music's doing that, that's amazing. Yeah, I always do what I like, and I, you know, it's it's really nice seeing people that you know that enjoy your music. It's really, it's really, it's a good feeling. Oh yeah, most definitely, one hundred percent, one hundred percent. And I love that you making the music that you enjoy, and it's and it's based on you. Yeah, that's really incredible. That's really incredible. I love that you are you're taking freedom into your own hands. Yeah, I always like being creative with what I do. Like even if you see like my channel, like the videos, like I I've, I've been trying to get better at visualizers because you know I want my I want it to look unique to stand out and not just be like some regular song you know that you just see you know I want it to pop out. Mm. Well, do keep on popping because you're doing a you're doing a good job with that. Thank you. And I could tell by your submission that you are working on it. I could definitely tell. Yeah, for a submission, I really wanted to edit it. You know, I, I know how to edit, so I could do a lot, you know, a lot of music video effects. But you know, I know they were trying to go for a live type of feeling, so I I try to make it look as raw as possible. So I didn't really add too much to it. Dude, that's perfect. What you got? That's that's really perfect. I mean, I mean, I'm glad you went simple as well. And the one that thing that really got me was your, like your mask. That was pretty creative too. That was pretty nice. Yeah. That was a nice touch. I like it. What um uh, no I won't ask about it. I don't want to surprise them. I don't wanna tell them yet. Um perfect. Now it's time for um have some bonding exercises. Now I know what you're gonna say, I know. No, why the hell are we doing that? It's important for us to kind of Get some bonding going. Um, so 
I want, um, this is a little switch energy. This is the time for you to ask anything, anything you want, you can ask. I don't think I really have any questions. Oh, really? No questions? No dares? No nothing? There's, no, I mean, uh, nothing comes to mind right now. You sure? Nothing about the podcast, music, nothing? I mean, I could probably ask more about, like, um, how, how, like, the price of getting signed. Do you know, like, that, like, how does it, how does it work? Because, I mean, I don't really know how you, how you sign, you know. Oh, uh, okay. Um, uh, I don't know for certain, but I can tell you the possible, the, um, the things that will happen during, what you possibly might be faced with. Number one would be a meeting. I am not sure how they would do it, but usually it would either be like a meeting with the papers um, and you would officially sign like a little meeting. Um, in that meeting, you'd be natural and just be yourself and you go right in there and you show them what you got and you take care of your business. Yeah. And anything about labels, honestly, I've been with them for a little while, so I've been, so I've been picking up on labels and the secrets of labels. So. Anything about labels or anything that's keeping you from being signed, you can also let those out if you want. Yeah, I th I th I, I'm okay. I'm okay when it comes to signing. I don't want to, you know, I don't want to just jump things out, you know, because I'm, I'm, I'm still in high school. I'm in my last year of high school, so, you know, I feel like once I'll, you know, I'll work with contracts and all that once I'm out of high school, you know. Ah, I see. I see. No, that that's actually fine. That's perfect. Yeah. That's perfect. That's perfect. Um, and speaking about the last year of high school, what are your plans for? What are your plans uh, as far as music in the next five years, or even after high school? Um, well, really, just improvement. You know, I I don't think that I'm at my peak yet, or even close to my peak. So I want to get better. You know, at singing and key and. You know, mixing and mastering. So I guess just kind of get past the basics and master those. That's really that's really my entire goal. Ah, all right, all right. So you're gonna be using the next few years to kind of develop your your craft. Yeah. That's good. That's good. And did I, I totally get you? I'm a song. I'm a musician like you myself. So. I totally get you. Yeah. Uh, perfect. Um, perfect, perfect. I just wanted to just get a little feel of what your plans are. Um, because I know for one, we are, do we are totally meeting up. Either I'm visiting Dallas or you're visiting Houston. I don't know which one you want, but I know that's something we're, uh, I do want to plan. I never went to, well, I don't remember actually going to Houston once, so I don't really know how the city looks like. Oh, it's going to be really nice. It's going to be really nice. And you will you won't be alone. You'll have a tour guide. I'll take you yeah. to the nice places. And then I'm going to take you to the next city next to Houston, which is spring. And spring is really cool. Yeah, I don't know because like I mean I know Dallas is really popular when it comes to tourist attractions, so I don't know. But I barely I barely go to the city because I I don't live in the city. Oh, you're in the lowlands. <laughs> I live in the hood. Yeah. Mm. I'm sorry. Did I did I offend? Um, did I say did I offend you by saying lowlands? I'm sorry if I did. Nah, nah, <laughs> nah. Mm. It's good. Yeah. Ah, cool, cool. And I actually wanted to ask a serious question, though. How, how has it been managing music and also high school? How has it been? Uh, sometimes it gets stressful because, you know, sometimes I'm in school and I want to go home and just practice or get better. Sometimes I feel like I'm not doing enough for either side. You know, I get home and, like, I want to do music, but sometimes I have to do homework, I have to study, you know, because I really want to have a good life, you know. So... It's really hard, you know. Sometimes I focus on one thing and I kind of just get. I stress myself out, basically. I have to. Um, that. Uh, and why on earth do you stress yourself out? Well, I guess it's just like 
I don't know, just probably the feeling of wanting to, you know, practice or when I'm in school, you know, sometimes I'd be bored and like, I feel so anxious. Like I want to be home and they're just writing or doing a song. But sometimes when I'm home and I'm writing or doing something, like I feel like I'm not doing enough for school and I'm not going to graduate or I'm not going to do well and I'm going to, you know, make my parents disappointed or something, you know. I kind of just overthink it. I overthink it too much. I know I do. But, you know, it's just a me thing. Mm. Oh, I see. I see. Dude, I totally get you. I was in the same state as you. I totally get it. I totally get it. I mean, those kind of states, like, that's why it's so important for partnerships and, you know, friends and collaborations, because it's, that's really important. Like, like, you know me now, and you know that I've, that I've got you, and I know that you know that I'm one of those people that are open. So you have me, and you got a lot of other people in your life. Um, That's, that's why it's really important to have partnerships and those kind of things, so you wouldn't feel stressful, because Dude, I've been in that kind of life before. I've been, I've been where you are. I totally get how you are. Um, I totally get your life. I mean, it means a lot. Um, but the best thing is that you're not going through it alone. You have people that have been through it too. So it doesn't really feel feel bad now, does it? Yeah, I I agree with you. Yeah. Cool, cool. Um, God, I'm tr- I'm really trying to not be fumbled. This is another serious one. I don't ask this question a lot because um, we usually don't get get as far. But now that we did, um, what are your goals in music as far as being a musician? Um, uh, I guess it's just uh, you know, I always like the idea of being you know huge or famous. But I think mostly I wanna, you know, I wanna give money to my family. You know, we're not really rich, like, like, like you know, I live in the hood, so we don't have a lot of money. I, th- I think one of the biggest things that I'm aiming for is to one day, you know, write a $10,000 check for, for each of my parents. You know, that will really make me feel good. You know, that's kind of a goal. And so may- maybe 20000 who knows? But, you know, I, I, always, I always wanted to do that. I always wanted to see the reaction of me giving them a lot of money. Oh, that is so sweet. Uh, did you, you guys heard that? That's that that is so sweet. No, for me, I don't really. I, don't, I mean, for me, I'm I'm just fine. You know, as long as I have a life, you know, just get my own house and uh, that's fine. But you know, I want to give back to my family because you know they help, they raise me, they support me. You know, I have to give back. You know, I just have to. No, dude, that is so sweet. I'm glad you're giving back. Yeah. Uh, is this how you are in real life? Are you always this sweet? <laughs> I mean, I guess I I try to be humble. You know, I really try to be humble. I just want to know because if I because if I meet you and you do some shit to me, like I'm not <laughs> surprised. I mean, I'm nice, right? But like, if people get me mad, then it's just a whole different story. Like I said, I'm from the hood, so you know, you know. But usually, I'm nice. I I try to be really nice. I don't like to be. See, guys, angry. he said he he tries to be nice. <laughs> nope, nope. You just said I try to be nice. Okay. I, mean, I got. I think it. I am. I think I am nice. You know. Okay. I see how things are gonna go. Okay. <laughs> I see how all the plays. Okay. Wow. Nah. Okay. Now I totally get you. I've met I met people from the hood. I I get you. It's okay. But just so you know, concert day when concert day comes, you know what's coming. You'll know what's coming. Just so you know. And what would that be? I'm not gonna tell you. I'm not mean. They're a little too. They're a little too soft, but I'm not. Mm. So I get a lot of ass kicking. Hmm. Nah, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. He was scared for a moment. He was like, "Oh, he's gonna get me." He was scared for a bit, but I'm kidding. Nah, no. For I, I just be chill, and I, I don't. I don't like to start problems with people. You know, I just like to. I like to be casual with everybody, you know. 
I don't, I don't no, believe I don't in. I don't believe in sharing negative energy with people. You know that leads to bad things. You know, I always, mm-hmm. I always strive to be good with people, be on good terms with people. There's oh, people yeah. that there's people that don't share that mentality, so you know I end up having problems with them. But you know, I really do try to be nice with everybody. Like that's that's kind of what I meant when I say that when I try to be nice because oh. there's people that don't share that with you. You know, there's people that are just oh. mean to you when you're trying. You know. Yeah. I see how this is. Um, you generally give people an opportunity to be cool with you, and when and when they're not, you just go off. Well, no, I don't go off. Like I don't, I don't start hitting them. Or no, anything. you know what I meant. <laughs> I meant, I meant not go off. No, I mean just you go south. Yeah, I, I just, I just cut ties. That's literally all I do. You know, I don't, I don't like. I also don't like to fight people. You know, I don't like to. You know, I don't like to be negative. Cause what's the point? You know, like let's just say I get into a fight. What what was it for? You know, what was the worth of that? You know. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I totally get you, but that that's fine. And dude, I'm completely the same. I give people opportunities. That's why I'm a generally nice person. So I'm nice to everybody, and when they're not nice to me, that's when I go south. That's when I'm like, that's when I'm like, I'm not nice to you. I'm not gonna be nice to you. Yeah, exactly. But I'm glad we're, I'm glad that we're on the good page. Yeah. And I'm hoping you enjoyed this. Um I know it's a little weird doing this before your big show. I just this is just really amazing that I got to do this and I get to meet somebody from Texas. I mean, dude, I've interviewed people from around the world. I've done Japan, Mexico, I've done Spain, I've done mm. I've done the UK, um, I've done India, Romania, I've done Canada. Um, I've done people from around the U.S., but it feels nice when I get to meet somebody from, you know, from Texas, you know. Yeah. That's really cool, yeah. Oh, yeah, definitely, definitely. And if you're looking for anybody that's around here in Texas, there is somebody from Texas. There's a Texas rapper if you're interested. Yeah, you could probably contact him, do a collab. Uh, cool. Yes, his name is Wesley Rocco. You can literally Google him, and he's everywhere. Oh. And he he's generally nice too. When you meet him, he'll he's generally really nice. Uh, I probably hit him up. Ah, uh, yes, cool. And you're in time too. He just released a new EP, so who knows? He could be like a remix collab or something. Yeah, that'd be interesting. Oh, so you checked out the EP? Oh yeah. Dude, I'm Wesley's. I'm one of his, like, really nice and close friends. Like, I'm always checking out his music. Mm-hmm. That's cool. Oh, uh, yeah. But, yeah, overall, I'm just glad that you could come by and you could be here. Um, And I hope you feel the same way about about me, at least. I hope you do. Yeah, it was, it was, it was really fun being here and talking to you. I had fun. It was pretty good. Uh, how does it feel to do your first ever interview? How does it feel? It, it's really, it's, it's, it feels good. You know, I never thought I'd be doing this, so, you know, it's pretty cool. It's a good feeling. Ah, uh, did you have an intention of doing one, or did, did I surprise you? I always wanted to do one, but I don't know, I always thought it would be, like, only people that have, like, a certain amount of, you know, subscribers or whatever or plays or streams whatever get one you know so i never imagined to ever be interviewed at this stage in my career ah gotcha gotcha you were expecting more like joe rogan's podcast um no 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 no. i'm just saying like i I wasn't expecting for me to be interviewed right now like anybody was was interested in interviewing me basically oh okay that makes sense yeah but I, you know why I love this is because it's in development of your career, and you when you're successful, and I I hope you do when you're successful, you're gonna look back and you're gonna remember, hey, I did my first interview on Rapid Owl, and you'll remember me, and then you're gonna want to do a second interview when you're in your development when you're 25 or when you're 30, and you're gonna remember that you were once here, and you're gonna be all popular and famous, and when you do, when you do, I'm gonna be so proud. To know that I interviewed a person that's like really, really good. So it's good that I caught you in development. I caught you 
so I can get a feel of who you are right now, so that in the future, we can start back up from where we came from. Yeah, that would be interesting. Like five years down the line, ten years down the line, you know, we could we can do like uh, another interview. You know, probably yeah, like cool. a whole different setting. You know, might even be a whole room. You know, who knows? Yeah, do yeah, totally, totally. And weirdly, say room. I've always, if the show continues on after five years, I'm gonna have a thing if it continues after five years. Um, I've always wanted to have a home studio. Um, to do the show because right now I'm doing it in my bedroom. I don't have a studio right now. So, if five years pass by, I mean, we could totally do one like in person. That'd be so interesting. Yeah, that'd be pretty cool. And then I could see your full face. See, now you can't do the mask thing anymore. Well, it depends because like I've never shown my face. It's always been the mask, so it's kind of part of my character. So I don't know. Like, if I do become big, I will show my face. But for now, it's totally just a mask. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Now, now that makes sense. That, that makes sense. You're in development. Yeah, because the mask wasn't just for the performance. I've actually been having it for a long time, and it's been part of my character for the longest. Oh, so have you wanted to like school at other places? Well, no, I don't wear it around because nobody. Because I, I don't think really anybody in school like knows that I make music. I think it's just mostly my my close circle. Um, yeah. So, but I, I guess like if I ever make a video or a live, you know, then I always use a mask. Oh, gotcha. Gotcha, no worries. I totally get you. Yeah. Yeah. But I've enjoyed your company. Um, I've enjoyed all this. All right, we are almost reaching the... What were we, what were we saying? Oh, I said, yeah, same. Ah, oh, cool. Sorry for my cutting up. I do have a tension of doing that. I am going to work on it. After five years, I'll have all this better and arranged. Yeah, it's all a process, you know. It gets better and better, you know. Yeah, even after one year, um, I'm still developing. Yeah. But yeah, um, but it is the end for right now, at least. Um, I always give the the guest a little something. Um, is there anything last that you would like to say to your fans and audience out there before we all head out? I just want to say uh, thank you for tuning in. It was actually, it was really fun you know, to be here. Um, and yeah, just, I hope that you enjoy my music. That's kind of, that's the whole point of it, for people to enjoy it. Cool, cool. Thank you for those lastly things. Those lastly. Those lastly. I'm trying to... Yeah, um... You guys, thank you so much. Make sure to check out Jupiter Kami. I mean, no, I messed up again. I'm sorry. Uh, it is Jupiter Kami. Kami, okay. Yeah. Jupiter Kami, I'm sorry. Um, Check out Jupiter Kami's uh, music down below in the links provided. Um, Make sure to check out his full performance at the Devil's Night concert. If you see this after, it is available on YouTube. If you're in time, it is premiering on October 29th and 30th at 6 p.m. Eastern time. That means that's 7 p.m. Nope, that's 5 p.m. Central. And for Pacific, that is um, Pacific, that's 3 p.m., I believe. It's either 3 or it's 4 p.m. Um, Pacific. But anyway. Um, Thank you guys for tuning in. I hope you guys had fun listening in. And if you guys want more Jupiter Kami, he is going to come back on the show later on. Hopefully later on he'll come back or we do something fun together or something like that. Yeah. Yep. Guys, he just confirmed it. He said, yeah. So this won't be the end. This will not be the end. All right. That's that's a wrap up for tonight. Um, thank you all again for tuning in, and and basically you're losers if you're not checking out Jupiter Kami. You might as well suck a dick then. You might as well. Um, and yeah, I'm just kidding. This time I'm kidding. Yeah, all positive vibes. All positive vibes. See, don't think he can be a softy. He just says all positive vibes. <laughs> He's a little softy. It's okay. It's okay. Guys, it's okay. He's a little softy. It's okay. But make sure to check out his music. Make sure to support Wrap It Up Podcast. We're everywhere. We're even on TikTok now. I'm, I haven't posted it a lot, but I will. 
Um, see you guys on the next one. Have a great rest of y'all tonight. Peace. Hello, everybody. Thank you guys so much for joining us tonight as we dove into a wonderful podcast episode. Now, in this following segment, you will get a chance to hear this artist's showcase because every artist that comes on the show requires to do a showcase. So buckle up, get some popcorn, and enjoy the showcase. I hope you guys love it and check out the artist when you get a chance to. Hope you guys love it. Enjoy. When I was born, devils move all their forces. They pain in their roses, right in their noses. First thing I did was to cast the atrocious, surpass all them Moses. But with their nurses, the lies they told, and all of them horses, they move me the bread when I'm doing my toasts. Facing a gun in a bang, now we can't hang. Busy boys think, let me be frank, you niggas are fake. Y'all act like y'all care, but it's just for my sake. I'm killing you fair, no breaks. Comedy, bitch. I am asshole.